They want us to find the limit as x goes to 2 from the left of this function right here. So remember, this is a <coughs> excuse me, this is a rational function. So that means that there's going to be an asymptote right here at 2. There's going to be a vertical asymptote at 2. They want us to just look at the graph to do this. There's going to be a vertical asymptote at 2. There's going to be a horizontal asymptote at 1 over 1 because the degrees are the same. Remember, rational functions. So at 1, there's going to be a vertical asymptote. There's going to be, let me just erase that now because that looks kind of weird, x over x minus 2. So what's going to happen, or, or and what's the zero, what are the zeros? Negative 2. No, nope, zero. zero. When I plug in zero oh, at yeah. the top, I get zero, right? Zero over zero. So zero over zero is my point. There's my only x x x intercept. So the, I know the graph has got to do this because I've done so many of these rational functions, and this one has to do that. Why ha why does it have to be up there? No other x. Because if it was down here, I'd have another what? A um, limit. No, another x. I have enough x intercept, and I know I don't have any more x intercepts. So I know the graph's going. You could plug a point in over here, but you're going to find the same thing. Got it. All right, so the question is, what's the limit as x goes to 2 from the left? So here's 2 right here. What's the limit as x goes to 2? I've got to jump on. Let me change the color. Yep. I've got to jump on here. As x, the x value gets closer to 2, what does the y value get closer to? What's the y value get closer to? Negative, Negative infinity. Negative infinity. She was wrong. So tell me this, what's the limit as x goes to 2 from the right? Infinity. Mm -hmm. Jump on over here. And I'm getting closer, see what I'm doing? I'm getting closer and closer to 2 from the right. I'm jumping on this graph, if you imagine tracing it on your graphing calculator. And the value of the y, the y value is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's getting closer and closer oh. and closer to positive infinity. The negative and positive, it just means what side you're approaching from. That's right. But then also you could say negative 2, right? And so let's ask this question. This is the next question you're going to get. What's the limit as x goes to negative infinity? We can just this. What's the limit as x goes to negative infinity? Uh, Jump on the graph. I'm, x is getting closer to negative infinity. What is the y value getting closer to? What is this value, which is your y, right? What's that value getting closer to as x gets further and further negative? One. One. It's getting closer to one. And what's the limit as x goes to positive infinity? Jump one. on the graph here. One. Yep, it's one, just from the top. It doesn't matter that it's from the top or the bottom. The x, the y value in this case is also getting closer to one, because that's your horizontal asymptote. So the limits at infinity of a rational function are always your horizontal asymptote. And you're only going to have one of those. You can't have two horizontal asymptotes. You just have one. Got it?